Okay? So, merong student na nagtanong sa akin, bakit daw magiging no hemolysis ang positive result mo sa complement fixation test when complement when um, complements are activated, it will end up with lysis. So, kung ang red blood cell ang kinapitan, it will end up with hemolysis. So, medyo marami nalilito sa point na to. But, as I've said kanina, let us focus on the name of the test. Okay? The name of the test is called complement fixation. Okay? Fixation meaning you want to know kung yung complement ba sa reagent mo eh nagamit na, na-fix ba dun sa antigen and antibody um, complex mo. Okay? So, by the way, here is Baymax. He is joining us <laughs> in our tutorial for tonight. Okay? So, going back to our lesson, um, ang antigen and antibody, pag nagkabitan sila, saka lang makikisawsaw ang complement. Okay? Meaning, um, magagamit mo or magbabind ang complement when the antigen and the antibody uh, nagkaroon na sila ng reaction. Okay? This test is used to detect viral, fungal, and recasual antibodies. Okay? Pero sabi ni Stevens, ang source ko po ay Stevens. Ang sabi ni Stevens, pwede naman daw na ang hanapin mo ay antibody or pwedeng hanapin mo ang antigen. So, for this purpose of explaining, ang gagawin ko pong example, eh, gusto nating malaman kung may antibody ba mismo yung pasyente. Okay? So, basic principle ng complement fixation test ay may dalawa siyang sistema. Sa so first step, it involves your test system or other name is the bacteriolytic system. In your test system or bacteriolytic system, may antigen ka, nasa reagent mo na yun, nasa, nasa alam mo na yun, it has to be a known antigen. For, for this example, I got my antigen from a bacteria. Okay? So, halimbawa, rickettsia. Okay? And then, the antibody will come from the patient. Pwedeng wala siya, pwedeng meron siya, basta ang antibody manggagaling sa pasyente. The complement for this um, reagent will come from the guinea pig serum. Okay? So, this is your test system. Ito ang itsura ng laman ng test system mo. On the second step, the second step is called the indicator system or hemolytic system. Ang antigen mo is the ship red blood cells na may nakabind ng antibody na ang tawag natin hemolysin. Hemolysin, from the name itself, ibig sabihin nito, ito ay antibody na may kakayahan mag-cause ng hemolysis. Okay? So, again, you have a test system and an indicator system. Test system, bakit tinawag na test system? Because you are trying to find out kung may antibody ba o wala ang pasyente. So, you're testing the reaction. The indicator system is said to be indicator system or hemolytic system kasi ito ang magsasabi sa iyo kung meron or wala. Okay? So, here's the scenario. If the patient has an antibody, sabi natin meron tayong antigen sa ating reaction, tapos kukuha na natin ng serum ang pasyente, syempre yung serum mo dapat naka-inactivate uh, na muna ang complement. Basic um, knowledge or topic sa serology is that you have to know paano ma-inactivate ang, ang serum. Okay, so as a review, to inactivate the serum, you have to heat the serum at 56 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes to destroy all complement activity kasi magkakaroon ka ng interference kung makikisawsaw agad ang complement sa eksena. Okay, so going back, sabi natin, may antigen tayo, that is a known antigen. So for this example, kunwari ito ay rickettsia. And then we want to know kung meron bang antibody to rickettsia ang patient. So first scenario natin, Ito ang mangyayari kung may antibody mismo ang pasyente. So, we get a sample from the patient and then mix the serum of the patient with your antigen. So, magkakaroon ng antigen, antibody, complex. If merong antibody ang patient, magbabind ang antibody mo to your antigen. Okay? It has to be specific kasi nga, diba, magbabind lang naman ang antibody dun sa antigen na nag-induce ng kanyang production. Since you have a complex already, the complement, di ba sabi natin, ang complement galing kay guinea pig serum, reagent mo na yan, dinagdag mo yan, yung complement na yan, kakabit, lalo na sa FC portion of your antibody. Okay? So, nagamit mo yung complement mo, na-fix mo siya, na-bind mo siya. In short, hindi na siya available 
Dahil nakisawsaw na siya dun sa relasyon ng antibody at ng antigen. Okay? Third party siya. Char. <laughs> In short, may compliment ka na na-fix. Bakit ma-fix? Kasi may antibody at may antigen na nagkabitan. Okay? Pag nilagay mo yung antigen antibody complex with the fixed complement in the second step, di ba sabi natin, ang second step will have RBCs, ship RBCs na may nakabind na hemolysin. So, um, specific sila sa isa't isa. So, they are a complex already. Kaya pinagdag, pag ipinagdag mo yung antigen and antibody complex mo na may complement, wala nang complement na pwedeng pumunta doon sa pangalawang complex mo kasi na-fix na siya. Kung na-fix na ang complement, sa unang reaction mo pa lang, wala nang pupunta doon para mag-cause ng hemolysis ng red blood cell mo. Okay? Remember, this is a bacteria. This is a red blood cell. Pag ito ang nalize, it will cause hemolysis. Kaya lang, bakit hindi siya malalize? Kasi walang complement na kumabit. Bakit wala? Kasi meron ka ng complement na na-fix. Na-fix na yung complement mo. Therefore, positive result is no hemolysis. Bakit nga ulit no hemolysis? Kasi yung shape red blood cell mo hindi mo malize kahit may antibody ka ng kakabit dahil walang nagpuntang complement. Bakit wala? Kasi may antibody ang pasyente mo na nagbind sa antigen mo kaya sa unang reaction pa lang nagamit mo na ang complement. In short, the complement was fixed because there is an antibody from the patient. So positive result ng complement fixation ay no hemolysis. Okay? If you have questions, you may type. I can read them in the comments and answer your questions. If I know, kung hindi, edi next time. <laughs> If the patient has no antibody, okay, so sa first reaction natin, sa first step natin, um, may antigen ka, pero uh, walang antibody ang patient. Kung meron man, pero hindi specific dun sa antigen na meron ka, eh, Uh, wala ring reaction. So, yung antigen mo plus the complement from your reagent, again, the complement is coming from the guinea pig serum, hindi sila magpapansinan. Kahit anong gawin mo, hindi maiin love ang antigen kay complement kung walang nakakabit na antibody. Kasi si complement, malandi siya. Makikisaw-saw lang siya pag may relasyon ang antigen at ang antibody. Kung wala, wala siyang masisirang relasyon, hindi siya sasama. Char! <laughs> Okay, so again, kapag walang antigen antibody na nagkabitan, wala kang complex, complement will not be fixed. It will not be bound. Okay? So, hindi mo siya nagamit, free pa siya. Okay? And then, when you um, put this reaction into your next um, step, ang sabi natin kanina, sa so next step, you will have the sheep red blood cell with the... Hemolysis na nakabind na sa kanya. So, you have a complex. Pag idinagdag mo daw yung antigen mo and complement mo, ganito ang mangyayari. Since you have a complex already, ship red blood cell plus your antibody, uy, sasama na si complement doon. Doon na muna siya pupunta. Yun na ang sisirain niyang relasyon. Yung complex na uh, antibody and antigen mo. And since your red blood, uh, your an, um, cell is a red blood cell, when complement Um, binds to the complex, it will cause lysis of your red blood cell. So, ang result is hemolysis. Bakit magkakaroon ng hemolysis? Kasi yung complement mo ay pwede. Naging free siya. Hindi siya na-fix sa unang reaction, kaya nakisaw-saw siya sa relasyon ng antibody and the ship red blood cell. Okay? At ang pagkakabit niya doon ay nag-result sa pagdudugo ng puso. <laughs> Char! Pagdudugo ng iyong red blood cell, pag um, putok ng iyong red blood cell, kaya ang negative reaction sa iyong um, complement fixation ay negative uh, hemolysis. Okay? Negative reaction means no, uh, I mean, hemolysis. I'm so sorry. Negative ay hemolysis. Ulitin natin, bakit mag magkakaroon ng hemolysis kung walang antibody ang patient? Kasi nga, yung complement mo ay hindi nagamit sa unang reaction since in the first reaction, no antibody uh, was detected and no antibody na nagbind kay antigen. Okay? So, hindi mo siya na-fix, kaya negative result is hemolysis. Again, the test, the name of the test is complement fixation test. So, ang purpose mo is to know if the complement has been fixed. Okay? It will be fixed kung merong antibodies ang patient. Okay? 
So kung na-fix na ang complement, hindi na siya pwede mag-cause ng hemolysis on the second reaction. Therefore, positive result of complement fixation is no hemolysis. And kung ang patient ay walang antibody, so walang makakabitan ang complement sa unang reaction, it is free to react on the second reaction, therefore causing hemolysis on your indicator cell. So negative reaction sa complement fixation, since hindi mo na-fix ang complement, is presence of hemolysis. Okay? So just a quick summary of what we are talking about. Kapag ang complement ay na-activate, ang end product mo, ay hemolysis or lysis. Kasi kung ang nabind mo ay bacteria, syempre, mag end up yun sa lysis. Kung ang nabind mo ay red blood cell, it will cause hemolysis. Okay? So, there is a difference between if the question is ano ang end, activi ano ang end product ng complement activation sa end product ng complement fixation. Kapag ang tanong ay eh, ano mangyayari pag na-activate ang complement, syempre, ang sagot mo doon, maglalyse ang cell. Kasi magbubuo ka ng MAC complex, di ba? Yung C5, uh, B, 5, 6, 7, 8, Um, nine, okay, C5B 6, 7, 8, 9 ang magiging action yan ay ilalize niya ang cell so um, activation and product of complement activation will be cell lysis okay, if the question is ano ang mangyayari sa complement fixation there, there is a word fixation so isipin mo Phoenix mo daw yung complement. So, ano ba mangyayari kung mafi-fix ang complement? Hindi siya makakapag-cause ng hemolysis sa second reaction. Okay? So, kung nag-gets mo yun, I, I thank you. Kung hindi, I thank you pa din. And I'm ending this video right now. Thank you so much. Good night. God bless you all. And thank you for joining me for my live show. <laughs> Char! Good night, everyone!